Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, I thought I was done for uh, 2016 videos, but this whole Kim Burrell thing happened and I felt like, let me go ahead and make a video about it. So, for those who don't know, Kim Burrell is a gospel singer. She's also, I guess, a pastor somewhere. I didn't care enough to go actually look, but I know that she's a gospel singer. I know that much. And apparently, maybe yesterday or some within recent days, she was doing a sermon. And during the sermon, I guess someone was doing like a Facebook live um, recording of it. And within the sermon, she started talking about homosexuality. Uh, she talked about how it's uh, the homosexual spirit is a perversion, how, you know, homosexuals going to hell, you know, the typical things that you hear a preacher preach about gay people in the church. That's pretty much what it was. I'm not doing it verbatim because I don't care that much. So obviously, many people in the LGBT community are upset about it. Um, many people have made videos. People have made tweets. I've kind of looked over some of them and kind of skimmed through some videos. And as a Christian, I can say, number one, no one speaks for me but me. <laughs> no one speaks for me. As black people, no one speaks for me but me. I mean, I, I debated on whether I was going to make this video because I know that when you talk about homosexuality, when you talk about trans, anything that has to do with the LGBT community, when you talk about anything related to that and your opinion is that of what could be considered against or opposed or not in agreement with when it's when it falls into any of those categories you're then deemed as being homophobic you're deemed as being a hater you're deemed as being nothing kind you know you, you, no one ever has anything nice to say about you when you don't when you're not in agreement with that community so most of the time i don't really talk about it because i don't really care that much and it doesn't affect me because i'm not in that community and while i have family members who are it's not that big of a deal but I wanted to make a video because I'm really confused. Oh my gosh, excuse me. And I know this video probably will probably be disliked. People may get in my comments, call me gay, talk about me. I'm fine. I really just don't care. I got other stuff going on. But I wanted to make a video because what I don't understand is every time one of these situations happens where somebody says something about the gay community, it always seems like the gay community, LGBT community, I really don't sure how I want to re reference them. They always go into attack mode, like off gate. They go into attack mode, then they start to rip the, you know, rip person a new butthole, no pun intended, and talk about them, you know, just like a dog. Like that's just what happens, and you know that's what they're doing to Kim Burrell. You know, they're talking about the way she looks, her weight, and you know all that kind of stuff. And the thing that I've never understood is, and if you're like I said in my transgender rant video some time ago, if you can educate me, educate me. This is a topic that I'm somewhat ignorant in. I have no problem with saying that I'm not well versed in it. So educate me. I'm asking you to educate me in a, in a respectful, polite way. And we can have a, a conversation, but you ain't got to talk crap about me. I don't understand why when someone says something about the LGBT community, if it doesn't apply to you, why do you get so upset? That's the part I don't understand. Because if we live in a country of freedom of speech, we all should be allowed to say whatever it is that we want to say. That's number one. And number two, for me, unless someone says Travis is fill in the blank, I don't really care what anyone really has to say about black people i don't care what anyone has to say about heterosexuals i don't care what anyone has to say about men i don't care what anyone has to say about teachers i fall into those four categories and you can talk about those four categories all day long and as long as you don't say travis is or travis you are I don't care. It doesn't phase me. It doesn't bother me. So I, I, it doesn't make sense to me why the community gets so mad when people talk about them. I mean, we all know now there are plenty of people who do not agree with the LGBT community. Plenty of people. I kind of don't agree and I don't disagree. I don't care. 
care when it comes down to it. I don't care who a heterosexual person sleeps with. I don't care who a homosexual person sleeps with. The only person that I'm caring about who sleeps with somebody is me and who I'm sleeping with. That is the only person I am concerned with. I don't care who's in a relationship with somebody else. I don't care who John is in a relationship with. I don't care who Sally is in a relationship with. I don't care. I am concerned about myself and my well-being. You know, that's just, it is what it is. Most of us know that, you know, the Bible does say whatever about homosexuality being a bad thing. That's clear and cut and clear as day. The Bible also talks about things that shouldn't be done that are done now that no one talks about. We all know that as well. No one out here is following the Bible to a T. As a Christian, I'm not following the Bible to a T. I also haven't even read the whole Bible. But I do know my heart. I know what I believe in. And I know what I'm striving to. Now, people talk about don't judge and all that kind of stuff. Having an opinion nowadays is considered judging. So there's really no way for us to tell somebody not to judge when judging essentially means having an opinion about something. We all judge stuff every day. Now, what I don't agree with is I'm not going to tell anybody that they're going to hell or heaven. Because if I can't figure out where I'm going, how am I going to be concerned with where anybody else is going? I mean, you know, real talk. I don't know where I'm going. I know where I'm trying to go. So if I don't even know where I'm going, how am I going to tell you where you're going? Granted, you can tell somebody what the Bible says, but, you know, I don't know well enough to tell people that. That's why I don't get on here and I don't get real preachy or anything like that because that's not me. That's not who I am. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe he died for my sins. And I'm trying to live my life as best as I can, given the tools that I have. It's, 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 it's as simple as that. I do not care about the LGBT community enough to try to tell y'all that y'all are wrong for who you love. That you're wrong for um, what you choose to do. I can't tell you that. Now, some Christians may feel like that's wrong for not telling them that, you know, that they're wrong. But, I mean, honestly... There are so many things wrong in the world. There are so many people who are doing stuff that's wrong. I don't have the time of day to call out what everybody is doing wrong. The LGBT community definitely is probably the most popular um, group of people, you know, that kind of have a target on their back. You know, you got liars, you got murderers, you got all of them. But, you know, I would definitely probably wage that that community, you know, gets it the worst. Not to say that they should or shouldn't. That's just how I see it. But I don't have time to tell anybody that they're wrong for what they do or tell somebody that they're going to hell. I don't care. But what I just don't understand why y'all still get so mad. <laughs> I just don't get why y'all why y'all so how come half y'all don't even majority of y'all probably don't even listen to her preach. Like you don't go to her church. You don't listen to her music. She's not somebody that you that you support anyway. So why do you care? I don't get it. I don't understand why you care. And I don't understand why it's not okay just to have a differing opinion. If that's how she feels, that is how she feels. She's entitled to it. Entitled to it. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying we're all entitled to the way that we feel. And yes, you are entitled to the way that you feel about her just like the way she's entitled to the way she feels about y'all as a group. But the thing that I don't get is if I sit up here and say... I think the color blue is ugly. That's my opinion. If you then say to me, I think you're wrong for feeling like the color blue is ugly. Do we not both have an opinion about something? Aren't we both allowed to have an opinion about something? We both can feel however it is we want to feel. But why do you care? That is the, that's the main question that I want to know. Why do y'all care so much what people think about y'all? If you're happy living your LGBT lifestyle, oh Lord, I can't say lifestyle. Remember I said lifestyle, somebody said, it's not a lifestyle. If you're happy living your LGBT life, can I say life? If you're happy living that, live it. Don't care. Going into 2017, don't care what anybody says about y'all. Just live your life. Do what you want to do. If you're the kind of person who does not believe that anything is going to happen at the end of this life, live your life. Live it to the fullest. You know, some of us are out here and, and we believe that when we get to the end of our life, we're either going to go up or down. And we're trying to make sure that we go up because I don't think anybody's really aspiring to go down. So most of us are trying to go up and we're trying to do what we believe is the right thing to do to go up. I mean, you know, it's 
Uh, why, why can't we all just coexist? You know, why can't the people who disagree with this group and this group who disagrees with that? Because I mean, essentially, y'all y'all saying the exact same thing to each other. She's saying you're wrong for what you do. Y'all are saying she's wrong for what you. Y'all y'all are doing the exact same thing. The exact same thing. My thing is, let it go. Live your life. Don't care what anybody has to say about you because it's not going to stop. People are going to talk about gay people until the end of time. It is not going anywhere. It is not something that's going to be accepted because if black people can't be accepted, you should know good and doggone well that the LGBT community is not going to be fully accepted. Black people haven't been fully accepted. Asians haven't been fully accepted. Native Americans haven't been fully accepted. We're not, I don't believe this world will ever come together in perfect harmony or peace. It ain't going to happen. So knowing that it's not going to happen, do for you and yours. Take care of yourself. Do what you got to do to live a life that's good for you. I don't get it. And now people saying Ellen should boycott her. I mean, I, okay. And then I saw, you know, the, I, I skimmed through the video that uh, Kimberell put up. The second, the, the video that came, I guess that was like her apology or whatever. And I don't really think she apologized. But she was saying that she wasn't talking about the people. She was just talking about the sin, which I get that as well. Because if you're a Christian, you got to look at it as sin is sin is sin. Whatever that sin is, you know, it's kind of you no know, sin is greater or worse than the other. Granted, we do talk about some more than others, but that doesn't mean that it's worse than others. You know. If you look at homosexuality as being a sin, then homosexuality is right on the same level as rape, is right on the same level as lying, is right on the same level as stealing. It's all right there together. There's not one that's up or down. There's not one that ranks higher or ranks lower than the other. They're all the same thing. So if as a Christian, I'm going to be the kind of person who says that I'm going to call out sin, then that's what you do. When you feel like something is a sin, you call it out. Um, live by example. You know, that's kind of how I look at it. I just, mm. and if anybody wants to know what I think about homosexuality, I've already addressed that in the transgender video. Go back and watch it if you want to know what I think about it. Ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't understand. I, I don't need to understand. I'm okay. You know, just go ahead and thumbs down the video. Leave a comment telling me I'm an awful person. Do what you got to do. But somebody educate me respectfully on why it's so important to tell everyone you're not allowed to talk about us like that. Why do you care? This, that's the main question. Why do you care? Uh, make sure y'all like, rate, comment, and subscribe or dislike. And um, I'll see y'all in 2017. Peace.